Have you ever wondered what makes one instructional video more interesting or more effective than another? We might associate differences in engagement or effectiveness with the subject matter or the instructional strategy used. But whatever the reason, one thing we have learned is that if learners find interest in a video, they are much more likely to learn from it and to subsequently apply that learning on the job. For this reason, it's critical that as learning and development professionals, we understand what makes video-based instructional content interesting and effective for learners. As the largest global provider of e-learning, this topic naturally intrigues us at Skillsoft. And as leaders in our industry, we must continue to understand why and how the brain processes and retains information to improve workplace performance. In short, what are those key factors that we need to consider in order to ensure that learning from instructional videos actually sticks? A stronger understanding of what drives engagement, retention, and application continues to be one of the greatest challenges facing the industry today. This is why we've partnered with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Office of Digital Learning and Accenture to embark on an extensive research initiative designed to delve into the science of learning. We want to more precisely unlock which instructional strategies drive engagement and retention in a video-based instructional experience. Some of the experiments for this research study include the following. Assessing the impact of scenario-based versus instructor-led video content on recall. Analyzing the impact of presenting material to the learner in advance of the video, such as a preview or outline of the content, or a pre-assessment so that the learner understands the gap in their existing knowledge. Reviewing the impact of interpolative testing or quizzes within the videos to see how they influence interest and retention and assessing the learner's mindset, specifically growth mindset, in order to understand whether people with a growth mindset learn better regardless of the effectiveness of a video-based course or if more interesting videos are truly the deciding factor. Today, we are in the labs at MIT to watch this exciting research in action. We will be talking to Kana Okano, who is a research scientist at the McGovern Institute for Brain Research at MIT. And we will be looking at EEG technology. Electroencephalography, or EEG, is an electrophysiological monitoring method used to record electrical activity in the brain. As you might imagine, this research is very exciting for Skillsoft and for our customers, since we are conducting all of this research using Skillsoft's video-based courses, the same courses that are used in workplaces of leading organizations all around the world. So now, let's take a look at this powerful research in action. So Kana, what are we hoping to learn from the experiment that we're conducting today? Today we're going to do a study with a bunch of videos. Um, some of them test your knowledge on IT videos, some of them test your knowledge on business skills, some of them just test your cognitive skills in general. So we'll go through a slew of videos to test all of these things. And how might this help organizations, help their employees learn about key concepts for better performance in the workplace? So what we're trying to do is see how we can improve people's retention of knowledge from these videos. So employees in a workplace take a lot of these training videos on a daily basis, but we don't know how much of the content they're taking away from these videos. So what we want to see is by doing certain types of interventions, does it help these employees retain the content more than if they were just given a simple video as they're presented on a typical day? And what would your expectation be from a scenario-based intervention? What would you expect to be able to see on the screen in terms of brain activity? So instead of having just a talking head in the corner of the video, we're going to have people go through kind of a scenario in a more emotionally engaging kind of way. We hope to see people more engaged and more focused on the content. And with scenario-based, would you expect to see, for example, both spheres of the brain lighting up as opposed to just maybe the left side of the brain? We should see a lot of the brain lighting up. Uh, mostly, I think we'll see some in the frontal and the back, um, but I think we'll see lighting up, uh, the brain lighting up in general all over. And can you talk me through, just at a very high level, 
uh, the exact steps in the experiment that we're going to be conducting today. Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the participant come in. We're going to have him sign a consent form and make sure that he's okay and voluntarily participating in the experiment. After that, we'll tell him about what we're going to be doing. We're going to have him wear a cap. We're going to put some gel into the cap and attach all the electrodes. There's 64 of them. Um, and then after we set him up, we're going to have him enter the booth. We're going to hook him up to the amplifier and start recording. So here we'll be recording the EEG and we'll see the EEG coming through. So we'll just make sure that everything is nice and clean. Okay. Um, Jacob is gonna be sitting next to me, um, prompting the next experiment that Jimmy's gonna be seeing inside the booth. And how long, uh, start to finish, does an experiment like this take? These experiments can take anywhere between an hour to two hours. Today we're gonna be taking about an hour. In this experiment, we are testing whether beginning a video-based Skillsoft IT course with a pretest increases learner engagement and retention of the material. We found in the first phase of our research that instructional strategies, such as introducing an interactive outline, materially improved the overall learner interest. We are now validating that finding using brain scans. All right, let's get started. Hey Jimmy, do you see the instructions on the screen? Yep. All right, so whenever you're ready, you can get started. This is going to be a video on Transact SQL. It doesn't matter if you know anything about it, but maybe you'll learn something new. So Kana, um, can you explain what we're looking at on the screen? It looks to me like maybe each one of these waves represents an electrode. Exactly, so each one of these is all the 64 channel electrodes on his cap. And you can actually see that's his blink right there. And you can actually see some of his heartbeats as well. And I'm assuming that each electrode then represents a specific region of the brain. So you can actually see the montage here. This shows you all the 64 electrodes that are placed on his head. The frontal channels like A1, B1, B2, those are the ones that signify some engagement uh, signals. So ones above here. In this experiment, we are testing whether putting a learner in a growth mindset prior to taking a Skillsoft video-based course can increase learner engagement and retention of the material. In the first phase of our research, we found that the presence of growth mindset directly correlates to the expressed level of interest in the video and improved performance on the final assessment. So Connor, the next experiment we're going to be running is when the subject uh, looks at a growth mindset video. What are we hoping to accomplish? Right, so there's some studies that suggest that when people are taught about growth mindset, they're going to change their behavior so that they're more prone to have that mindset. So that's what we're hoping to do with the next video. Why is it important for us to understand a learner's mindset? Mindset, as we know, is on a spectrum. So they might not be completely fixed mindset, they might not be completely growth mindset, but they're somewhere on that spectrum. And by measuring where they are on that spectrum, we're able to assess how well they'll be able to retain information or learn from something better than someone else who has a fixed mindset. So this one, you're just gonna watch a video about your mindset. It's gonna last about five minutes, okay? okay. All right, so just stare at the screen and enjoy the video. In our previous research, we found that the instructor-led video instructional strategy proved to be the least interesting approach. Simply delivering a lecture on camera interspersed with bulleted concepts is the least engaging way to present critical business skills content. Instructional strategies such as presenting the content within an impactful scenario-based format materially improve the overall learner interest. The findings suggest that learners crave a storyline, a narrative, and some degree of self-directed progressive disclosure of the concepts. In this experiment, we are validating that initial finding using EEG technology. We are testing whether a Skillsoft Business Skills video-based course designed using Scenario as the primary instructional strategy is more interesting and therefore more engaging than a course using instructor talking to camera as the instructional strategy. The expectation from previous research is that learners will find scenario-based content to be more interesting and therefore they will be more likely to proactively engage with the material and consequently remember what they have learned. So Kana, the next experiment, we're looking at a uh, scenario-based business video. 
What are we hoping to learn from this particular experiment? So this one, we have a scenario-based version and a baseline version, which is basically just a talking head. So we're hoping to see more engagement and more, um, more attention and focus in the scenario-based version rather than the baseline version, which is just a talking head. This last part of the research demonstrates just how rigorous the research process is. All research participants are given an IQ test to make sure that we control for differences in individuals' IQs and that findings are not influenced by differences in IQ among test subjects. Now that we have seen this incredible research in action using Skillsoft's own courses, we hope that you're as excited as we are about learning from the results of this state-of-the-art investigation into how adults effectively learn from video-based content. Now more than ever, it's critical for us to understand how to make video-based training as effective as it can possibly be. Our findings will inform design considerations for instructional content for the modern enterprise. Stay tuned for more on our innovative research.